What's up guys? I know I said I've broken my camera, but I'm using my phone because I really, really want to do this video. Um, so, remember when I said I fired the editor? Well, uh, he's gone and made a new channel of his own called Movie Maniacs. And um, he's posted his first video of, that he's been working on for a very long time now. Uh, I believe it was supposed to come out Friday, and then he was ill. And then now it, it was supposed to come out yesterday, but then it didn't, so now it's come out today. It's called the top 10 best montage sequences in movie history. I'm going to react to it right here on my laptop. Um, I might do a bit of editing, I might show you, but anyway guys, I just want to sort of edit it, nitpick it, see uh, if he's actually learned anything from his mistakes. Now, just give us a second here. Okay. Let's go. Let's go, guys. First of all, I've already noticed something. Um, at the bottom of at the bottom right corner of the screen, you can see the watermark of the channel he's stolen this intro from. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this new crazy mother. Profanity. What an original guys icon. To the guy first. What? Okay. You can uh, you can see that he's shown his screensaver. Why would you show your screensaver when you're making a YouTube video about movies? Why? Anyway, let's keep going. Video Mania. Today we'll be review, uh, we will be looking at the top ten montage scenes in movies. Number ten is a uh, unusual oh. pick. Not many of you might have thought of this, but number ten, we're going with Up, with the opening scene in Up. Now this movie, this scene in the movie creates the emotion that the whole is like the, the backbone of the movie, I thought. I was going to say something real quick, so the backbone of the movie. Um, I don't think any video can have a backbone if the editor doesn't have a backbone. <laughs> and it sets up the movie pretty much, shows, shows, the main shows the main character's feelings throughout his life and just sets up the movie pretty much. Number nine is Ace Ventura Pet Detective. Ah. This is a funny montage. This is mainly why I put it in. No one of you may have heard of the movie, but it's one to watch. In this watch montage guys. scene, we see Ace Ventura chase after the Miami Dolphins American football team looking for uh, the missing Looking for what? Sorry? Sorry? Looking for what? What was that? The gem. The in missing the gem. AFC Championship uh -huh. room. Uh -huh. You see him doing stupid things to find out what they are. Here. Why well, is he doing stupid things, things and why, why is it a good scene? It's a great contest. Number That's 8 great, is yeah. the School of Rock. Ah, learning how to play rock. See, I'm still seeing all that. Um, yeah, this good. is another funny, funny uh, yeah. montage which I, which I find is Jack Black is great. I, I, I love, I love that movie forever. And so this, this is, this is just a great movie. Uh, this great montage. Uh, you see oh, okay, all sorry. the. the Okay, so right now it says Jasper at the bottom left corner. I was wondering what that meant, and I realised it's actually my friend Jasper, who was a. I'm not sure why he was mentioned. I guess he plays drums, but how would a normal viewer know? How would a viewer who doesn't go to our school know that? I mean, how? Right, that kid's not called Jasper. I think his name was like Freddy or something in the movie. Right. Like instruments, designing clothes, uh, lighting, right. stuff like that. Gel. Gel's the guy who goes to our school. Um, I don't know why he's mentioned in the video. He has nothing to do with School of Rock. <sighs> okay, let's keep going, let's keep going. Power through, guys. Number seven is the Groundhog Day. Groundhog Day, good movie. In this, in this uh, montage, we see Phil, played by Bill Murray. Oh, at least uh, something. <laughs> kill himself in many different ways as his day keeps resetting every time he falls asleep or dies. So they, um, and that is great because <laughs> So you just see some comical deaths and Comical like deaths. It's, it's quite Good because amazing. comical deaths. Right. Uh, number six on the list is montage in the opening scene in twenty the twenty fifth hour. Number and six on the our opening list. scene is a montage. Uh it's not made very clear. Um, I'm not really sure. This is the 25th hour. 25th this hour. is this 
this, scene this is, is this. where you see Edward Norton's character. Sorry, Todd. Edwin. His name is Edward Norton. Edward Norton. He's in Birdman. He's in, in The Incredible Hulk. His name is not Edwin. His name is Edward. Okay? Just make Wait, that clear. Uh, Borgen. Borgen. Sorry. Oh, Borgen. Borgen. Um, <laughs> go on a rant about all what he hates about A America. rant. It's a oh, rant. New York, a rant. Like the races, like... Black, I don't say run, I say run. People like that. He just goes on and how much he hates them. <laughs> this scene, once again, the backbone of the movie. Backbone shows of the movie, you right. His emotions in the very beginning of oh, the scene. This shows you how. Uh, this is a great scene. Number five, number five on my list is the police training scene. The Departed. Um, I told them to watch this movie. Okay, most of the movies on this list, I will definitely the Departed. I uh, I told them to watch it. Because he was supposed to make a video about it, but clearly that never happened because he was too busy sleeping on cameras. But yeah, The Departed is actually a really good movie. It's one of Scorsese's best. You should check, definitely check it out. Don't you? With Leonardo DiCaprio and Matt Damon, this shows that. Right, guys, can you see that? Right, I'm, I'm gonna show something here. Okay? Uh, can you see that? Right there, it says Cinefix. That is a famous YouTube movie channel. That is not. Okay, he's literally screen recorded it, and. He hasn't even taken the time or care to take out the watermark of the channel. This is plagiarism. Don't do plagiarism, kids. Don't plagiarize. This show is um, shows the two main characters of the movie and how their training scenes and training is different. Training, and similar training, training right. And this is showing how far apart they are, but then how they intertwine. Later on in the movie. Number four. Well, yes, because the two main characters of the movie are going to have to meet at one point or another. But it's in any movie ever. When you have two main characters, they're probably going to meet. That doesn't make it a good montage scene. Okay? Oh, sorry. Oh, this is Pocket Apocalypse now. Pocket's not a very good movie. In, in this montage, you see the death, the destruction, the chaos. That happens in Vietnam and what is going through the main character's mind. Mm -hmm. This is a great scene and it's visually amazing and it's great editing. Visually three. amazing. Now that I want, I want to stop right there. Visually amazing. Um, you know what? Three on our list is. Well, our. Who's our? It's just you. Remember? He, he got fired, but now it's our. One, two, three. But number three on our list probably is probably one of the well-known yeah. well -known montage scenes in the world. Rocky's training scene. Yes. I picked Rocky one as it was a training, as it's the original one. As it's, yes, well, Rocky is, one is probably the original movie. Okay, when it says Rocky one, it's the Rocky, first movie. Played by Sylvester Stallone, yes. going through the streets of Philadelphia, mm -hmm. and you see all the. The people on the streets like cheering him on, and this is a great motivational scene, and it has a great theme too. I mean, the song in this is absolutely amazing. Well, the song is called "Eye of the Tiger." Too bad it wasn't actually. Uh, he didn't actually say the name. Just slight nitpick. It's really good scene. Number two on our list is the is the oh. death scene in American Beauty. Right. Here's the question. Has he actually seen American Beauty? That is the question. I doubt he has, considering I was talking to him about it yesterday, and he had no clue what it was. In this, you see Kevin Spacey's character being murdered, and you see his, his, like, flash, his life flash before his eyes, and you see all of his memories. This is a very emotional scene. It is. And it, it kind of wraps up the movie in a perfect way. Well, and that's, it shows that's his life and his ups and his downs and his whatever. It's, it's, it's in his ups and his downs. It's great. Lazy. Oh, hmm? lazy oh yeah. Um. um no, what? Yeah. He just said whatever. That doesn't sound like he actually cares. Also, I don't know what the hell he was snorting just now. Um. Whatever. Great. Attention to detail. Godfather's baptism scene. Now, this is one of the most iconic scenes in movie history. In movie history. As flick fanatics would say. 
as I ah mentioned me. Well, um, yeah, it, it's iconic, I guess, but it's not that iconic to mention someone and use what they say. It's called plagiarism. Like I was saying, kids don't plagiarize. It's not good for you. In this, in the baptism, you see. He's not even getting baptized, right? The guy's getting like a massage. Al Pacino is getting a massage. He's not getting baptized. It's, it's a baptism. It's a great, great scene in the movie. It's one of the best in the movie history. And that is why it's number one on our list. Our Thank list. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Oh, so, no. Please like, share, subscribe. And Has he not edited any of this? Make sure. He said it like three times. Flat. Please like, share, and Four times now. Oh, he wants to take me down. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. Well, bye bye. Um, he said he asked to like and subscribe four times. Four times. Uh, and he also wants to take me down, which is um, which makes for good competition. Well, yeah, it's a real shame. But uh, he also said goodbye. It's probably going to be his last video or something. I don't know. It doesn't make much sense. Anyway, guys, that was my little breakdown. <laughs> of the video and uh it's fine i guess i don't know plagiarism he asked you to like and subscribe four times i'm never gonna ask that many times i promise you guys that i'm not gonna ask you to like or subscribe four times anyway guys um thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed the video i did not enjoy making this video as i was watching a pretty bad badly made video i mean i guess that's why i fired him but anyway Thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you on Saturday, Sunday with my next video coming up. I'm not going to tell you what it is, obviously. Just stay tuned. Bye.